What I've got is a cylinder head from a 1964 Volvo 1800S that I want to remove the valves from. I didn't want to spend any money on a valve spring compressor that I'd only use once. A cheap one would be uh, probably not very serviceable and expensive one might be uh, who knows how much. So I'll improvise with what I've got on hand. First of all, block of wood. Put a block of wood under Neath. That'll hold the valves from uh, compressing uh, or going through as I depress the valve springs. That sits up inside the cylinder head. And what I'll do is secure the head so that It doesn't want to move upward with the springs as the springs are compressed. So that'll keep it secure. Now I've got a piece of industrial vertical shelving upright that I cut a slot into, and that will then through one of the holes, bolt into the tapped hole where the rocker arm shafts attaches. In theory. Okay, here we go. That well underway. A large washer will help take up the gap in that in the upright. And now I'm going to compress that you hear that break loose, that breaks the uh, keepers loose. And with a magnet, oh, I'm going to have to actually pry those keepers apart a little bit. Come on. There's one keeper, one half of it. There's the other. And now I can remove my tool. Actually, I could go on to the other valve at this point, but just to show you, take that off, and the valve spring, and of course then as I take the cylinder head off the bench, I can get the valve out. Okay, this view will show you a little bit closer close up of the operation. You see I've got this attached there again, and I can press down, you hear that breaking loose? Separate the keepers and with a magnet I can just remove those like so And it almost couldn't be any simpler than that and pretty darn cheap too Of course I had this on hand, but almost any piece of metal angle or bar or whatever you have might uh, would work There we go.